the fourth estate of the realm have been admonished to use their capacity to advocate the ab an ability to place issues on perspective to hold leaders accountable for electioneering promises and actions. The president and founder, Habitation Church of God International, Reverend Tioluani Adirigbigbe, gave the charge when he played host to executive and members of the Nigerian Union of Journalists at a broadcasting service, EBS Chappelle. Angela Ehimoto has the report. President and founder Habitation Church of God International, Reverend Olu Aderik Bigbe, while addressing members of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, EBS Chapel, said, Great is a task ahead for all union leaders because raising hope for the common man in a depressed economy is not a battle for the weak. The clergyman, while relishing on the memories of the union struggle in the 80s, opined that transparency, accountability and sacrifice is of necessity between union leaders and government during negotiations for sustainable growth of the nation. He scored the Gordon Obaseki led government high in his achievement in the last eight years and stressed the need to complete all ongoing projects and hand over the baton of continuous progress to the best hands. Comrades, you are welcome. Yes, and God will continue to bless you and keep you. Amen. What I'm saying, don't raise workers hope. Necessarily. But be at your side mm -hmm. to continue to fight to get weak. So you have come, you want my advice, a part of my advice. Two, liberal leader never write love letters. Especially when you meet with a recalcitrant money. Mm -hmm. So you need cause. In her remarks, Chairman NUJ EBS Chapel, Comrade Josephy Aimihe, appreciated Reverend Olu Aderik Bigbe for his love for humanity and uncommon zest for a sane society by doing the most to rid the society of dangers of abandoned children and appealed for his sustenance. You are a comrade to the core and you always identify the laws. That's why we are here to say there are new ESCO. Let's come and tell daddy. The new persons that are on board. That's why we are here that day. You've been doing this work year after year. Some people will not even know what you are doing, but some of us as journalists will know that you pick children from the streets, take care of these children with money. Sometimes when there's no money, go through the sacrifice because you want a better society for everybody. May God truly bless you, sir. Yeah. We really appreciate you. NUJ EBS Chapel led by Josephine Ehimehe, is promising a vibrant and result-oriented times for his union members in days to come. Angela Ehimoto, EBS News. You can watch at the broadcasting service on Star Times, Channel 113, and on Go TV, Channel 141. For more on our news, you can now subscribe to Edo Broadcasting Service TV on YouTube. You can follow EBS TV and Radio Reloaded on Facebook. You can also follow EBS on X app at Edo Broadcasting Service TV. You can now report motorists driving against traffic one way by recording a video of the vehicle and sending the recorded video to the WhatsApp number. 0813-203-0846. You're still with the EBS Comprehensive News. Let's take a breather for some commercial messages. When we return, agenda, when we return, National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAQ, leaves banned on production and sale of such alcoholic drinks in Nigeria. We'll bring you this report and others after the break.
for make we all come out on election day and vote on Lumide Osai Bobo Akpata, Una guy as governor of Edo State. He ready to change our story and bring better life for we and our picking them. Vote Labour Party, the party for Papa, Mama, and Pekin. Make we vote well, oh, Oluji, confirm. Now you be our guy. Labour Party, for whatever. Admission into Edo State College of Health Sciences and Technology, Edo Cohest, for 2024 academic section is currently ongoing. The admission is into the following schools, School of Environmental Health Sciences, School of Community Health, School of Health Information Management, School of Medical Lab Technician, and School of Pharmacy Technician. The applicant must possess WIC or NECO O level with at least five credits in mathematics, English, biology, chemistry, and physics at not more than two sittings and not more than five years. No awaiting results. National Diploma Applicant must have sat for Joint Admission Matriculation Board JAM for 2024. Application opens June 6, 2024 and closes July 6, 2024. The CBT text, which is the computer-based text, is going to hold on the 17th to 19th of July, 2024. The venue is Edo State College of Nursing Sciences, Kilometer 6, Sapler Road by Godwin Abbey Road, Benin City, Edo State. The time is 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily. Note, applicants are to print their schedules for the potters. Application fee is $10,500 non-refundable. Beware of scammers and fraudsters and all application is online. No hard copy phones are available. All payments should be done into a Doe State College of Health Sciences and Technology account. Applicant CBT date and time will be forwarded to the email and phone number provided on the application. Please use your personal email address and not that of a business center. For the most accurate and latest information, please visit our website www.edo.com C-O-H-E-S-T dot Edo State dot G-O-V dot N-G. For more information, you can call or send a WhatsApp message to 0805-372-3244. And you can call within the hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. weekdays. Edo State College of Health Sciences and Technology. Edo Cohest. Knowledge for Health. This message is signed by Dr. Moyo Kazim, Provost. Edo, are you ready for positive change? The Edo State Government is calling on you, the champions of a cleaner tomorrow, to support its effort of making Edo State great again. Introducing the Mega Cleanup Program powered by the Ministry of Environment and Sustainability, supported by all 18 local government councils. Every Monday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., lock your shops and unite in purpose to sanitize your environment, sweep, clear the drains, and gather the waste for waste managers to evacuate. Traders, this is your time to shine. Beautify your surroundings, bag your waste accordingly for a cleaner, greener Edo. Remember, no more waste on road medians. Our streets deserve better outlook. Be warned, a Doe State Tax Force will be out to arrest dumpers of waste in unauthorized zones. If you are caught, you will be arraigned and prosecuted before a mobile court. A Doe State deserves the best. A heaven for investment. A cleaner state will be a testament to our culture and pride. Let's join hands with the Doe State Government to make the heartbeat the cleanest state. Thank you for staying connected. The House of Representatives and the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAQ, have reached a consensus on temporary lift of the ban on production and sale of such alcoholic drinks in Nigeria. Deputy Spokesman of the House and member of the Committee on NAFDAQ, Honorable Philip Agbese, who addressed journalists in Abuja, said the decision followed fruitful engagement with NAFDAQ and other stakeholders. Hereta Momodu has details of the report. In February 2024, NAVDAQ commenced enforcement of a ban on alcoholic beverages in sachet and pep bottles lesser than 200 ml. The action followed the expiration of the January 31, 2024 window period granted to manufacturers to conclude the sales of existing stock within the restricted category. Manufacturers on your part argue that they could not meet the deadline given by NAVDAQ in 2018 due to effects of the COVID-19 outbreak. 
Agbese noted that, however, following parliamentary interventions spearheaded by Honorable Regina Akumen led House Committee on NAFDAC, the agency is now on the same page with the House and other stakeholders that the implementation of the ban is wrongly timed considering the present economic situation in the country. The lawmaker asserts that NAFDAQ will reconsider its stand and leave the ban in the coming weeks. Uh, you see, it is within uh, people's fundamental human right to decide what they consume, especially for adults who can make their own decision. The head implication of consuming the sachet drink when people consume the same content in bottles I think to be very mild is highly hypocritical and I believe that uh, if it is within people's choice to go to supermarkets and buy choicey loaves of bread with butter we should in the same manner allow people to also be able to afford their agege bread. The ban included importation, manufacturing, distribution, sales and use of alcoholic beverages in sachet, pet and glass bottles of 200 ml and below. Henrietta Momodu, EBS News. The Tripartite Committee has urged the organized labor to rethink the amount it demands as minimum wage. The chairman of the committee, Goni Aji in Abuja, on Sunday said that the labor should reconsider its stance based on economic considerations and monetary incentives which the federal government had so far provided for workers. He listed such incentives to include the 35,000 Naira wage award for Treasury paid federal workers, 100 billion Naira for the procurement of gas field buses and conversion to gas kits, among others. RG concluded by stressing that linking the strike to electricity hike with the wage determination was not fair to the negotiating parties. Two men, Ugu Chijoke and Ibrahim Ade Kunle, have been sentenced to 46 years in prison for impersonating operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and executing a fake court order. According to a statement on X.com on Sunday, the duo were arrested in May 2021 at New Horizon Estate, Lekki, Lagos, following credible intelligence received by the commission. Items recovered from them at the point of arrest include fake EFCC identity cards, jackets, and a court order allegedly from Mushin Magistrate Court. Although Chijoke and Adekunle pleaded not guilty, they were subsequently sentenced each to seven years on count one to three each, one year on count four, and eight months on count five by Justice Abike Fadikbe. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, has announced its special operation unit has taken down cartel controlled by drug baron, 49-year-old Kelechi Monde Wabosi and his 50-year-old elderly sister, Ms. Chinwe Rose Wabosi. The agency said the development followed the arrest uh, the arrest of the siblings and the seizure of cocaine and metafetamine consignment with over 4.1 billion in street value from their hideout in Abba, Abia State. NDLA's Director of Media and Advocacy, Femi Baba Femi, stated in a statement this Sunday that the special operation conducted on Thursday 13th and Friday 14th, June 2024 at 3B Boundary Avenue, Abba, and the residents along Ohia Road, Ohia Abia State, following months of intelligence gathering, leading to the arrest of the ringleaders and the combined seizure of 20.76 kilograms of cocaine and metafetamine from them. 
He also announced that the NDLA operatives uncovered an expensive warehouse in Lagos stocked with a large consignment of coding based syrup and that four persons connected with the importation and distribution of opioids were arrested during the intelligence-led raid on the facility. That after true service to the people is that in the Lord, the member representing Ovia Northeast to constituency at Edo State House of Assembly, Honorable Edobo Uzame made the remark when they led other PDP members in Uwe Ward 3 on a condolence visit to the family of late Honorable Anthony Asemuta, who passed on recently. Correspondent Ogbebo Robert reports. That report will be brought to you in our subsequent bulletin. Christian faithful, Christian fathers have been challenged to include in their children and words positive values and character that would ensure peace, stability, and harmony in the society. The woman leader, Habitation Church of God International, Pastor Caroline Akurogi, gave the charge this Sunday when she received the, when she delivered a sermon entitled Fatherhood to mark this year's Father's Day. The report. Pastor Aikorogi noted with satisfaction that despite the economic difficulties, fathers have remained strong pillars of support in their families, toiling daily to make ends meet. She, however, stressed the need for fathers to be closer to God in order to fulfill the enormous responsibilities entrusted on them. Pastor Aikorogi emphasized the need for mothers to acknowledge the gallant sacrifice, love, and resilience of fathers. So father, the day important for our life. Now, what do we need to personify to ourselves? Don't have to go call our Abba Father. In a special way, I go to the response to you when you call him my father. That man, when he don't reach the stage, the boy, when he don't reach the stage of a man, he come marry, come marry, come marry, come get children. Now that person ain't the father. And another person will celebrate today. That man, when he don't attain that level of authority, that man, when he don't attain that level of protection, that man, when he don't attain that level, when he will feel defend, when he will feel provide, when he will feel secure in family. Now that man, that we're talking about today. <laughs> Obafoni Alufohai, EBS News. That was the news before we go. Be reminded that security is everybody's business. Report any suspicious movement to the relevant security agency. On behalf of the staff and management of Edo Broadcasting Service, we say a happy Edo Kabil celebration to our Muslim brothers and sisters. Good evening. I am Obofoni Alufohai.